Okay, so now that the login page is complete, we just need to do the same for the home page. So if I just copy what I have here and paste it in my home page, so on here, I'm just going to paste in the use session from next or react use router from next router use effect again from react and then the session if there is no session then we want to redirect to the login page this time and again if status is loading return loading and if there is a session then we want to return the disney clone so now if i save there isn't a session so i need to log in sign in with google and now i'm on the home page like so and what I want to do is I want to create a new component in here called home layout. And if I close this off as well, now in my components folder, I'm going to create a new folder called home layout. And in here, a file called index.tsx, save. And the home layout will take props in this time because we are going to get movie data from the API. So if we do tsrfce, and for now, I'm just going to name this home layout. And in this div, we're going to have a few elements. So we are going to have so this slider banner. Then we're going to have categories. So these are the categories that we hover over. So Pixar, Disney, Star, and that, them sort of categories. And if we hover over them, then a video will be shown. Then we are going to have rows, the relevant movies. So we will have a title and then underneath we will render out the movies that fit that title. So we will be using the filter method and then mapping across on each row. So first off, I'm going to start with the banner. So within home layout, I'm going to create a new folder named glider banner. And in here, we're going to create a new file named index.tsx. And in the banner, we are going to do RFCE slider banner and what we need to do now is import react slick if we want to react slick and here go on to the docs and we need to add react slick into our project so open a new terminal and paste yarn add react slick in there i also need to install slick carousel so if i copy that across and go into my terminal and yarn add slick carousel slash save so now that is in there we need to include the css files also so if i copy them and import them at the top and i'm going to rename the div to a carousel which will take in settings that we pass across so we spread settings and up top here i have already got the settings so i'll just copy and paste them in but essentially we want the dots underneath for the slides to be true we want it to be infinite so it goes to the end and then goes back to the first we have a speed on there we will show one slide at a time and it will autoplay as well so now we have the carousel and within the carousel i'm just going to paste in my slides so we have a container for each one and within the container, we have an image being rendered. So container for the images is named wrap. So what we could also do is each wrap could be a separate component. And then within the component, we pass the image down as props. And then we render the image that way. But for now, we're just going to render it like this. It's not how you would do it in a production environment. It's just a way to render out everything in one slide for our slider. So we can visually see what is being shown. So now what I need to do is create the styles.tsx file. And in our styles file, we want to paste in what I already have. So I am essentially importing slider from React Slick. So this is the carousel. And I am editing the slider from React Slick. In here, I've got a margin top of 20 pixels. We are accessing the class name of Slick List to show that there is an overflow and it is visible. Increasing the font sizes of the buttons to 10 pixels and give it a white color. The Slick Dots, which is the bottom which shows the slider position. So these dots here, we want to have them at the bottom right of the image. So now if I save everything and import, we will visually see what is happening. And the wrap also from the styles. So if I save and in styles, 
we have an error which says React Slick is not there. So what we need to do is close our terminal and restart again. And we need to import the home layout and save. So now that we've created the slider, we just need to import it into the home layout. So where the slider banner is, I'm just going to import that in. And if I save, so to debug this problem, if I go into my package.json, I do have slick carousel installed here. So what I need to do is go into my file and just remove this from here. And now if I save, I now have the slider rendering on the page. So now if I go into the home layout component, close this one off in here, this div is going to get styled. So I'm going to name this container so we can bring the margin on the left and right in a little bit. And I'm going to create a new file in the home layout named styles.tsx. And if I just copy my styles over, paste them in. So export the container, which is equal to style.main. So we are using semantic HTML tags. So this is the main element on the page. We're going to give it a min height of 100 VH minus the 70 from the header. Some padding as well on the left and the right. A position of relative and overflow on the X axis of hidden. Before anything renders on the page, we're going to give it a background of the home background, which is located in the public slash images slash home background PNG. It will be behind any other elements on that page. And then we are also going to style all the corresponding H4s with a font size of 1.3 rem and some letter spacing and some line height. So if I go back into my home layout and import the container from dot slash styles. So now we are rendering the slider banner. Now if I save, so because the background image is in the images folder, I just need to add slash images slash home background like so. And now if I save, we now have the background rendering on the home page. So if I go back into the index TSX file on the home layout, I now need to create the categories component.